Hey teachers, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Slides to create a learning experience where your students can be working on individual slides like you see here, and then you being able to view all of your students working on their own slide from your device. So this is a super helpful Google Slides tip if you wanna be able to see your students all working in real time and be able to kind of monitor them without having to walk around the room to see individual students working at their own desks. And this is an easy way to do that so that you can get a quick status of the class. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna show you an example of when you might use this, use this Google Slides tip. Now to be clear, you do not need to have your students using Google Classroom or even have a Google account. All you will need to do is for you, the teacher, to have a Google account, account so that you can create this Google Slides presentation. But that can be from your personal account, it can be from a school account, you just need to have the account, and then you need to have the ability to share the link with your students, which can be done through something like Google Classroom or any other learning platform, but it can also be done by just simply sharing the link with your students through a QR code or in any other fashion. So I'm going to be using an example of when I might use this in a math class where students are um, all gonna be working on a slide where they're gonna be building numbers using these digital base 10 blocks. So what I've done ahead of time here is I've created a slide that has my hundreds um, cubes, my, my, I'm sorry, my thousands cubes, my hundreds flats, tens rods, and ones cubes here. So. I have prepared it so that I've got several and they're actually all stacked on top of each other, which I have another video that shows you how to make almost like an infinite cloner hack like you might see in a smart board situation using Google Slides instead. So I will show you, or I will link to that video down below so that you can learn how to set up this really easily with an infinite cloner type style um, setup. So. I've got these all set up for you here and I've got some blank space here. Once I've set up my slide, I want to duplicate it for each student that's going to be using this particular activity. So let's say I'm working in a small math group and I wanna duplicate this five times and I'm just going to right click, click on duplicate slide or I can simply click on the slide and click on control D for as many times as I want. So I've got five slides here. The other thing that I would suggest doing is if you have um, a lot of students, even just five students, you might wanna put a student's name right here so that you can easily see who's working on which slide. And that will make sense more in a minute. So you want to assign each student a slide and you can do so by just typing their name at the top. So once you've done that, you're going to want to share this link with, a stu with your students. So. I'm going to make sure that my link is set to anyone on the internet with this link can edit. You want students to be able to edit this, not just view it. So once you've done that, you're gonna click on copy. That's the link you're gonna share with students. Again, whether it's through your learning platform or just by directly sharing the link using something like a QR code or whatever. So once all students have a link to this particular presentation, you are going to Get, uh, tell them to go to whatever slide it is that you've assigned for them. So let's say you assigned, you know, Johnny number one, Susie number two, slide three is gonna be for Rebecca and so on. So have them click on the slide that they've been assigned. Once they have their slide here in the center, you're going to instruct them to click on this little arrow down here at the bottom to hide the film strip. That way all they see is their own individual slide. Now, you as the teacher can say, okay, let's build the number 342. So students are gonna drag three hundreds, four tens, and two ones. So they're gonna drag these over. They've built the number 342. Now you wanna see how everybody's doing as they're working. So what you need to do is also have this same presentation pulled up on your device and you are going to click on this little um, grid icon down here at the bottom. It's kind of cut off on your screen, but it's this tiny little grid icon here at the bottom. And when you click on that, it will show your students all of their, their slides in a grid-like form. So now it's really easy to see 
what students are working on and how they're doing, who's getting it, who's not. So again, this is going to be another great uh, reason why you're going to want to have the students' names right here somewhere on the slide so that you can see who's working on which slide. And that's it. You can use this for a variety of learning, um, learning activities, whether it's uh, math manipulatives, digital math man manipulatives, or Maybe students are all working on a writing assignment that you want to be able them to, to see them writing on, whatever it is. If you have them all working within the same presentation and you assign each student their slide and then you share that link with them, you can look at the status of the class in this grid-like view so that you can then see how your class is doing. And then if you want to take a peek at someone's slide individually, you just double click on it and it brings that slide up for you. So that is your quick tech tip on how to use Google Slides so that you can get a quick status of the class and see them working in real time.